episode of Suits is about as good as a finale can be, and is probably my favorite episode of the entire drama. Nothing is forgotten, and everything is wrapped up in a realistic, sometimes even melancholic, way, with no easy answers or quick fixes. But room is left for hope, and a future for the people at Kang. Episode 16, Life Will Not Tell You Where The Destination Is. Kang Seok arrives to visit Yun Wu in jail, as Yun Wu narrates, Last night I had a dream. I dropped on the floor because I didn't know where to go. That's when you came to visit me. We back up to the day that Director Ham texts the entire firm that Yun Wu never graduated high school. Kang Seok storms to Director Ham's office, and Yun Wu tries to stop him as everyone gathers to see what will happen. Kang Seok orders Yun Wu to get out of there, and Yun Wu starts to follow him, but he sees the anger in Jian Shik's eyes and the confusion in GNA's, so he turns and flees. Director Ham taunts Kang Seok for failing to protect what he cares about. He says he kept his end of the promise by not sending Yun Wu's secret to Ha Yun, just to everyone else. Kang Seok grabs a paperweight and slams it into the wall, and he growls to Director Ham that this was never his law firm, even for a second. Swiping everything off Director Ham's desk, he storms out, while Yun Wu leaves the building as quickly as possible. Ha Yun and Jian Shik find Kang Seok in his office, and Ha Yun tells Kang Seok to turn in his resignation. He hands it to her immediately, having written it the day he hired Yun Wu. He refuses to answer any more questions now that he no longer works for Kang. Jina is still stunned when she leaves for the day, and she meets with Yun Wu so that he can explain. He says it's true that he's a fake, and that she's the one he wanted to open up to the most, but he couldn't. He tells her that it kept him from being honest about his feelings for her, and she swallows a sob. He says he's been working in a place he doesn't belong with people very different from himself, and that he might even still be lying now. Jean R gasps that she can't seem to forgive him, but when he says he understands, she says he doesn't. She explains that she's not angry because he's a fake, or because he lied to her, but because he's lying right now. She asks why he's telling her everything now, when he's never been honest with her before, and Yun Wu says he's sorry. She tells him not to apologize, because she's not ready to accept it yet. But she says she'll wait, then she walks away. Yun Wu goes straight home and starts printing out everything that was on the USB file that David Kim gave to Kang Seok. He gets to work trying to figure out the connection between Kim. The next day, Ha Yun calls Kang Seok in and tells him that they managed to keep the partners from leaking anything. She thinks they need to report Yun Wu, but Kang Seok says they should focus on saving the firm first. Jian Shik spits that if he cared about the firm, he wouldn't have hired a fake in the first place. Kang Seok asks angrily if they think Yun Wu is to blame for what's happening to the firm, and says that in fact, Yun Wu is the reason the three of them came this far. Ha Yun asks for proof that the merger is a trap, and Kang Seok starts to say that Yun Wu is working on it, but Jian Shik snaps that he's sick of hearing that name. So Kang Seok says he'll reveal everything at the partners' meeting, and after that, they can do whatever they want. He grumbles that the firm will probably go down no matter what they do, and leaves. Yun Wu dresses in his suit, choosing to wear his father's broken watch and taking with him the Joker card that Kang Seok once gave him. He stops to see Grandma, and he tells her that he's going to study abroad for several years. She says she's proud of him, and he tells her that he's paid for her living expenses and to stay well until he comes home. He tries to say that he'll find them a nice house when he gets back, but he breaks down sobbing and confesses that he made a mistake. Grandma says that she already knows the hardships he's gone through, and that she pretended not to know because she can only imagine the agony he's been in all this time. Yun Wu apologizes but Grandma wipes his tears and says that he can be her to have a broken heart, but that he needs to sort it out and start over. He lays his head in her lap and cries while she comforts him. Yun Wu stops on a bridge to look out over the river. He recalls what Kang Seok said on the day he hired him, when he gave him the Joker card, that card, which is nothing at the moment, is you. Depending on your choices and effort, your card can turn into an ace or some meaningless number. It's up to you to choose what kind of game and rules you're going to play and follow. Kang Seok shows up at the partners meeting that's been called to vote on the merger, and whether to fire Kang Seok. 
Ha Yun allows him to speak first, and he passes out packets of information as he says that if they still want to vote on the merger after what he has to say, he'll step down willingly. He repeats what Yun Wu told him last night, that Kim Kang Seok says that two years ago, Kim their plan is to merge with Kang. Kin Shik asks why Kim Kang Seok says that it's because Kang he says that their original offer of a takeover was just a feint because they couldn't afford it, so that Kang Ha Yun looks ill as she remembers how director Ha merged her to agree to the merger. Kang Seok repeats that if they merge, they'll be financially responsible for Kim. Given that the financial information they released seemed to be so compatible with Kang, Interestingly, Yun Wu also learned that CEO Joe's properties in Los Angeles have been transferred into Director Ham's daughter's name. Jian Shik asks if Director Ham would really give up his firm for a couple of houses, but Kang Seok says he never intended to regain control of Kang. Ha Yun admits that if not for Yun Wu, they wouldn't have known about Director Ham's plan in time to save the firm. In flashback, we see Yun Wu asking Kang Seok to take care of his grandmother. He says it's too late, and that Kang Seok shouldn't let him be his weakness anymore. Ha Yun asks the partners if they still want to vote on the merger and Kang Seok's dismissal. Not one person speaks up, and Kang Seok says he has something else to say. He tells the partners that Yun Wu isn't a lawyer, and that he wasn't even a good fake lawyer, he was too sympathetic, and sometimes even sided with the opposition. But he also reminds them that Yun Wu saved the firm twice, and they all nod agreement. Kang Seok asks them to acknowledge Yun Wu as a colleague, and a real associate, and he requests that they letter him 